Hey guys, it's Mitchell from Modern Racing. I just wanted to show you one of the new kits that we have available now. It's our Pro Ring Terminal Kit and Splices. And what we're going to do today is go over some of the advantages of having one of these and some of the reasons why we use these every day on all the cars that we wire. Okay, so some of the features of this kit are that it comes with several different sizes and it's made for a wide range of uh, wire gauge. Uh, the different sizes start at, at number eight, goes a quarter, five sixteenths, and three eighths, and it covers a wire range of 14 to 22 gauges. Um, and that includes both the ring terminals and the splices that are included in with the kit. Uh, the ring terminals that are in this kit are uninsulated terminals. We prefer those over the pre-insulated type because the crimp is far superior and with the heat shrink that we use um, just like this right here which is also included with the kit um, it makes it weather resistant okay so I'm going to show you some of the differences between the insulated and non-insulated ring terminals right here is your standard auto zone uh, advanced auto lows uh, insulated crimp terminals uh, first first thing you'll notice is the size difference is quite a bit different the uninsulated are much lower profile and that is including when the shrink is on it so you have a much cleaner look here's some ring terminals here's the, the same ring terminals on a bus bar here's your uh, pre-insulated and R type and then here's your butt connectors right here the difference between the two as you can tell it's a much cleaner look much lower profile most importantly it is weather resistant so you don't got to worry about your wires getting corroded our heat shrink that we include with this has uh, encapsulant in it which actually melts into the wire and prevents any kind of water in ingress you can actually buy pre-insulated weatherproof uh, shrink ring terminals the problem with those is since the insulation is already over it when you crimp it nine out of ten times you cut through that insulation and when you shrink it it just rips it open all right so what i'm going to show you right now is a couple ways to crimp both the insulated connectors and the non-insulated that are included in our kit um, the most accepted practice of crimping the insulated kind are with these kind of crimpers right here these are the ones that everybody has laying in their toolbox you get in walmart autozone wherever um, I've got a piece of 16 gauge wire right here, which is the largest that these ones can, these red ones can accept. I'm just going to crimp it down, just like that. And this is one of the problems with these. There we go. All right, so that feels like a good crimp. If you look at it right now, since we just crimped it, you can see that there's kind of it's just not not very good the way it's crimped compared to this next one. So now I'm going to show you the insulated or uninsulated version. What we do is we take a little piece of the included heat shrink right here, slide that over the wire first, take a pair of these crimpers right here, which you can get these on our website. I'm going to insert them just like that so the crimp is on the bottom. I'm going to insert the wire. and just put it down tight like that. As you can see with this crimp, it goes all the way across the wire. It presses down in the middle of the wire, which puts even pressure all the way around it. Once that's done, what you can do, just slide over the included heat shrink and shrink it down. You can see as they shrink this wire, it pulls down tight against the ring terminal and the encapsulate inside melts at the uh, shrinking temperature. You can see there's no way for water to get in there as it sits right now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put it on the scale and measure the tensile strength of each one of these crimps. Uh, we'll start with the insulated version, pre-insulated version, should I say. As you can see, that one just pulls right off. Here's ours. It's pulling a 10-pound weight, no problem. I'm going to show you another way to crimp the pre-insulated terminals that works better if you just absolutely have to use them. Just use a pair of channel locks here. We'll get a piece of clean wire here. And we'll just slide it over just the same.
and we'll take them from right over there and just crank down on them. Ugh. Here's the problem with this. As you do that, you can see the insulation is just barely hanging in there because you had to apply so much pressure to it. And that, of course, goes through that and deforms it. But our crimp should be a little bit stronger. So now we can lift up a 10 pound weight. Improperly crimping, what's considered an improper crimp. Now we're gonna put some real weight on it. I've got 25 pounds here of weight. And I'm gonna show you the difference in maximum capacity. We're gonna do the, what's considered the better crimp here. Ugh, with that, just like that. And we're crimping the other ones the same way. Now what we'll do is we'll take this. So we got 25 pounds here. Confirm the weight on the good crimp first, like that. And here's the cheap one. Oh, there it goes, right there. <laughs> Comes right off. We'll go back to this to show that it was holding on good. As you can see, there's no problems with that holding on. You're going to have a wire failure before you have a crimp failure. As you can see from the way the wire looks after the connector came off, there aren't any missing strands or anything. That indicates to us that is a weak crimp just because you're limited by, I guess, your crimp quality because of the way the insulation is on here. Make another turn. This one can be arcing. And again, here's ours. It's good to go. I could probably put weight hold down on those. Like this. And pull up as hard as I can. <coughs> there. Now, as you can see, with this, the wire broke at the knot here, so we know that's a wire failure. The crimp is still good to go. There's no problems. It's actually just barely starting to elongate the, the ring terminal. What's nice about this is if you have any issues with anything, you know your crimp's gonna hold. This version of ring terminal and assembly method is obviously, as you can see, far superior to the uh, insulated version. What's nice about it is you're gonna have positive connection between the wire and the ring terminal. You're not gonna have any issues with vibration due to the, the better quality crimp and the way the heat shrink shrinks down. Also, you're gonna have uh, resistance against any kind of environmental ingress that could corrode your wire, short out to ground, um, etc. etc. Okay, you can get this kit on our website, modernracing.net. If you've got any questions um, or ideas for any other videos you'd like to see us do, uh, just leave a comment down below.